So today we're gonna to talk about Charlie's story. It is a beautiful roller coaster story. Um, yeah. So we were shipping orders and then Charlie started moving. There she goes again, a lot. And so we gotta sit down for a second. Isn't that belly big? And I we're think blessed to have her. We are so <laughs> blessed to have her. And you. And me. Um, I think the crazy thing is, is she's two and a half and the memories, like we were kind of talking about it and they're already fading. And it's just like, thank goodness I have Instagram when I posted because I had to like go back and I have my journal and I kind of went back and um, yeah, kind of had to go back over it. I'm like, oh, I remember that. But I think the biggest thing with Charlie is I feel like at that point, I was still teaching. I had just decided to quit teaching. And before that, we were trying to get pregnant. We were trying and trying, we couldn't. And I feel like I had already made the decision with the Lord and be like, all right, God, I know it. We're, we're just gonna have one kid and it's okay, you know? Yeah. And finally okay with not having another kid. Yeah, like I was finally like moving on, going on with our life. And then um, God said, just kidding. Uh, I have other plans Wait, for you. Wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Um, so yeah, so I think I was in denial yep. that I was pregnant. Um, and I was the same thing with, with Ryan, you know, just busy with life and the business. And um, But with Charlie, like, he was just like, I think you're pregnant, I think you're pregnant. And so did a test and I was pregnant. And I remember we um, took Ryan to our first, or one of the ultrasounds, and what was her reaction? I don't want to be a big sister. <laughs> <laughs> we still have that video, yeah. but it just melts your heart. She said, all that baby's going to do is cry, 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 cry. 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 Yeah. So we're going to go meet Mommy, mm -hmm. and we're going to meet her at the doctor. Wow. She's going to, uh, the doctor's going to check and see if Mommy has a baby in her tummy. No. We're, no, we don't know. We're just going to go look, okay? Do you want to go with us? Mm-hmm. We're going to find out if you're going to be a big sister or not. Isn't that going to be exciting? Mm -hmm. Hey. You know you'll be my baby, always. You know that, right? I want to be a big sis. Huh? Yeah? What does that mean? Well, that still means you're going to be my babe. So are you... You're really going to be a big sister? Yeah. How exciting is that? But you're gonna be. Um, I, it's gonna cry. The baby's gonna uh, cry, cry, cry. I wonder if it's gonna be. It. Let's just go. She is gonna be crying. I hope she's gonna be a girl like I am. You hope she's gonna be a girl? I think she just just that. You think that's why Jesus matches them? Yeah. But I'm a boy and I have my baby girl. Um, she was so upset, but now she's the best big sister ever. Yep. Um, but I don't know if you know my story, but I've had a lot of surgeries. I was born with a tumor on my spine. And one of the things the doctors told me early on that I could never be able to walk and I would never be able to have children. Um, and you know, I like to do things. When people tell me I can't do something, I like to prove them wrong. Um, of course, I walk, and I had Ryan, and so to have Charlie was just, not only did I have one beautiful blessing that I was so thankful for, now we had two coming. We had this, you know, Charlie, I was pregnant with Charlie. Um, and yeah, uh, with me, with all my medical issues, with having to catheterize and um, all of that, pregnancy is really hard on me. Um, yeah. Ryan's was. Hard, but hard. Charlie's was horrible. Yeah, Charlie's was horrible. Um, I feel like the whole term, 
<laughs> I was really sick with Charlie, like throwing up, because I was still teaching, because I quit teaching in December. So I was the last, I guess the first trimester. The last yeah, the last November, December of teaching at White Station. Like I was so sick. I think I was late every day just because I just could not get myself together. I was just uh, always nauseous, always throwing up. Um, and I didn't have that with Ryan. But then not only that, like once I started working at four, I quit teaching and I started working at four with dad and I just pee all over myself. Let's just be honest. I'll just get it all out there. <laughs> the honesty of being pregnant and having an urgenic bladder. And I mean, it was tough. And but I it think- it wasn't like that with Ryan, was it? I, you know- At least not as bad. It wasn't as bad. Um, yeah, but it was just, I ended up wearing diapers and embracing them. Um, they saved my sanity. And I, I remember other friends texting them like, oh my gosh, you need those always discreet. Like they saved my sanity. Um, but yeah, I mean, you would stand up and I'd pee. I'd sit down and I'd pee. I mean, it was just like my bladder just has no control. Um, so was it worth it those nine months? Yes, because we have a beautiful blessing. Um, would I do it again? Yes. Will my family let me do it again? No, because we're about to get into that. Um, but yeah, but with catheterizing and um, being pregnant, you know, the baby's right on your bladder. And so it's just, it was hard. It was hard physically, but also emotionally, like going through that. Like you didn't want to go do that because you're going to peel over yourself. I mean, I think there was two Target trips. I got out of my car and I got, and I was like, all right, we're going back home because we ain't going to Target today. Um, well, the biggest thing I think that's hard with me and being pregnant is bladder infections because I was cathing. When you're cathing and you're pregnant, I was cathing every hour. So that's not when a normal day, like now I cath every four hours, but when I'm pregnant, I'm cathing every hour because I was just, if I didn't, I was just peeing all over myself. Um, so the more you cath, the more you're gonna be prone to infection and all of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I remember I went in and I remember Allie's mom did the, ultra, or the ultrasound and I had kidney something and basically she was pushing all up on my kidneys and it was basically my kidneys were cut off and i remember the ultrasound tech being like i've never seen it this bad and i was like i am in pain i am in so much pain um but yeah and you have a high tolerance for pain so and i, I have remember, a very I do remember that yeah it was bad you bought me that um pregnancy pillow that you put <laughs> you said, looks like a pull raft for the whole yeah i use that quite on. a bit um but yeah i was in a lot of pain which Totally, you know, you forget it. We were just like, moms, how do we, we just kind of forget that. Um, but yeah, I had really bad infection. So I remember um, we were at the mall with the Papkeys and we got home and I'd started feeling uncomfortable and we got home and I was like, it's time. That was 35 weeks. Um, it was, it, that was like the, the one you see in the movies and TV, like, yes, this baby's coming now. Now. Um, and I didn't have that with we, Ryan. We weren't prepared or had like a bag or anything like that. It was just nothing. Get in the car and we started driving. He know. drove fast too, because I was like, go faster! I remember yeah. like, I'm in so much yeah, we were pain. We are probably doing 100. Yeah. Know? I was trying to, to not die, but get there fast. <laughs> but it was just like the movies and I never thought it really happened like in the movies, but it was like in the movies. Like yeah. they were a minute apart and, and I was in so much pain. And I remember like, being in front of our bathtub, because we were, during that time, we were still renovating our house, weren't mm -hmm. we? Um, our water heater busted, so that whole pregnancy, our house was pretty much under construction. Um, that was probably a good thing, because pregnancy, I was really laid back, and like, I didn't care about anything. Um, but yeah, I remember being in front of the tub and being like, Lord, is this now? Is this what I think it is? And I just remember walking in and telling Brett, it's time, like, we gotta go now. Um, but of course we went to the hospital and I was 35 weeks and they're like, you're not having this baby. I'm not gonna let you have this baby. So you, you were having actual contractions. I was having contractions. But they gave you a minute medicine apart. to, or stop whatever it. they give you to, to stop the contractions. Yeah. They're like, we don't let anybody here, or we try to prevent anybody having them that aren't 39 weeks. And I had Ryan at 37 weeks. Um, so yeah, that was very disheartening. Um, so they got the contractions. But they blamed it on a bladder infection, correct? They, yes, they yeah. blamed all the contractions on the bladder infection, gave me medicine to stop the contractions. And so we went home and they gave me a antibiotic to get rid of the bladder infection. Well, we didn't learn till later after 
we went back to the hospital that the they didn't culture my urine so what the antibiotic they gave me wasn't treating it so those next two weeks my bladder infection was just getting worse um 37 weeks came along and i'm in pain again i think we had already been calling the doctor like i don't feel good i have a fever um my, you know i'm in pain stabbing pains like kidney pain all that kind of stuff so they said okay go back to the hospital so we went to methodist germantown um, back to where we had both the girls and um they basically told us the same thing like you're not having this baby so i'm at the hospital again um, come to find out I have a really bad bladder infection, um, which is kind of normal for me. Um, so, but they're causing some contractions. They're like a minute apart, five minutes apart. And since I'm only two centimeters dilated, they're not going to induce until 39 weeks. So I have two more weeks to wait unless she comes by herself. So we'll see what happens, but and they're like, we are not allow, or they didn't want us to have the baby. It was like, it was, it was a policy issue regardless yeah. of how sick you were. <laughs> um, so like, we don't want you to have it till you're 39 weeks. And I was like, I'm having this baby. Like this baby is coming out of me today um, just because I was in so much pain. So I look a really a hot mess, but people keep messaging me for updates. So um, the doctor just came in and my contractions have pretty much stopped, which is amazing. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, we, it felt, I just felt like nobody would listen. The nurse was listening to us. Like, I feel like she understood it, but the higher ups would, would not. They would, they're like, we're not going to do anything. Um, so it's yeah. It's been really frustrating, whatever. You know, I'm no medical professional, but it yeah. just seemed like not enough was being done. And what's crazy is I don't remember any of it. So like we got in there, I have, I wrote down some of the things that I wrote. So I went down 37 weeks. I was having contractions a minute apart to five minutes apart. So it kind of fluctuated. Um, I remembered going from the ICU back to the floor to the ICU, back to the floor to the ICU. I feel like they kept switching. They wanted to send us home. And my mom was like, she's not going home. Yeah. Um, we're not going home. <laughs> we're not leaving this hospital until she has this baby. Um, but yeah, I don't, I remember the first day that we got there, but I don't, I just remember being, I don't know. So I got you know, there. After, after she said, you're not going home, we stayed that night and that's when like the fever broke out. Yeah. It was super high. And so I had a fever of 105. My blood pressure was 66 over 36. I remember seeing things on the wall, like being delusional. Um, I remember shaking and I remember mom holding me. Like I remember just like going back and forth in the bed. Um, and I think afterwards I remember, I was like, mom, I remember you holding me. She's like, I held you for hours. Yeah. But I just thought she held me for a few minutes, but I was so delusional. Like I just, that part of my life is just gone. But even through all that, I felt like they were, I don't know. They weren't listening. Yeah. So come to find out, I went septic and almost died. And luckily, Brett and my mom were fighting. The nurse was fighting for us. Um, it was rough. It was, you, we were talking about it last night, how when they finally, when I was like, it was bad. Like, it was really so bad. I think the, the breaking point was when they would, they kept coming in and checking Charlie's heart rate with the monitor or whatever. And, um, it would like just race up to like two something and then just fall off and and they couldn't find it and then they couldn't find it and then they were like rolling you on your side and then they're like this is happening now and they're like you know took you down to emergency surgery or c-section yeah so i don't really remember any of that I, rem I remember one moment and i think it's something that i'm glad i remember i remember brett and my mom and my dad being in a circle and praying. That's the only thing I remember. I remember the nurse being, all, or the doctor um, being across the room and praying. And I remember my dad crying and being like, I can't finish this prayer. And I think you finished it. Yeah. Um, that's all I remember. That's the only thing I remember from that day. And I remember waking up on June 2nd when we had when I had Charlie afterwards and being like a new person. Cause I had two blood transfusions. Everybody meet Charlie Ruth Farrell. Hey, big girl. She touched her face. <laughs> Your big sister, Ryan Rose, wants to meet you. Mm. 
Turn on the roof. You see mama? <laughs> yeah, I did with those blood transfusions. I just remember like being like, man, I feel great. Let's go run a marathon. Like, and I don't even run, you know. <laughs> but um, I know we didn't see Charlie. I was in the ICU, and then she. I didn't see you yeah, saw her was, first. Well, I, I'm talking minutes after the C-section. They just they brought her out to me, wrapped up into the hallway of the. Emergency room. Because well, you emergency were room, the surgery in the basement. Yeah, and you weren't even supposed to be down there because they were. You they, were pacing, and they were like, like, "Sit down." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so me and your mom got to come down like as they were wheeling you down the elevator and stuff, and then so basically we just stood outside the door. It wasn't a waiting room or anything, and I, yeah, I was pacing back and forth. The nurse comes out and she goes, "You need to sit down." <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, but yeah, but they brought her right out, and then. You were in the ICU, so they could, they wouldn't bring her over there. They, I couldn't like, see there's her. There's all kinds of. I think I FaceTimed her for the yeah. first time, and so it was very was different. Hard. Yeah, because she wasn't like able to stay in our room based off like where I was and where she was for, I think a few days, yeah. maybe to like the third or something. But um, I just thought, what's going on, guys? We're, <laughs> why why are y'all so sad? Like, what's no. what's and all people from the church, like um, Keith had come up and Mo had come up and I'm like, why, what are they doing here? Like, why, <laughs> why is the church here, you know? Yeah. Um, but I had no idea that I almost died. Um, so it was very, it was crazy. We come to find out some of our friends um, told us that that nurse quit because she was so upset that they didn't listen to her. And then like eight or nine other nurses eventually quit and then the charge nurse eventually got let go. Um, I don't know all the details, that's just kind of what I heard for friends, but it was just, it was very scary. Um, but yeah, but we have a beautiful baby, um, Charlie. She is, she's something else. Um, she's amazing. She, she really is, like she, I, I, don't, I don't even know what word you would use to describe Charlie. I don't know. Not word. Not word, a lot of words. She's so different than Ryan. Ryan's like no. so quiet and, um, I don't know. She's just awesome. She's and it's she's totally different than Ryan. I mean, it's so hard to kind of describe them both. But um, I think my favorite that last night or a few nights ago, she you know came over and like, "Mommy, I love you," and she grabs your face and then she puts you know kisses you, and Daddy's like, "Well, I don't get it like that. Well, yeah. How come I don't get kisses?" But she's, I trick her every day. I said, uh, "Are you my baby?" She says, "No, I'm Mama's baby." <laughs> I've tried to bribe her into being my baby. Yeah, she won't, she it won't, don't, she it won't didn't work. It. She's my baby. So, yeah, it's a it's a crazy story. I think when I always talk about this and I talk about after Charlie's birth and I came, I really felt like I had a new outlook on life. Like, just, you know, I feel like I've always been positive, but just like, you know, living day by day and just being grateful for what you have and, um, not sweating the little stuff, you know? But I definitely, um, yeah, I feel like um, I feel like it was a turning point. Not, not that my, anything in the back, past was bad, it was just like yeah. I just had a very different, different outlook, you know? Because it could have ended very badly, and praise the Lord it didn't, because he had a lot of stuff they had planned for us, and Ryan and Rose, and you know, it's just really like, praise the Lord, like what we're doing, and. Are you talking to mommy? <gasps> I know. I know. What you doing? <gasps> yeah, because in reality, Charlie was the inventor of the cutie pad. <laughs> she was. She's the whole reason we, we that's kind of why we did it in here, so you can see the cutie pad behind her, because, you know, she wouldn't take a pacifier. And we tried all pacifiers, every single, from every store, every one you could buy on Amazon, we tried them and she wouldn't take them. And then that's where the idea for the cutie pat 
came and she loves it. And people always kid, so like, are you gonna have more kids to give you more ideas? You know, because Ryan came the cutie clip and Charlie came the cutie pat. Um, but yeah, it's just a kind of a story that we've been wanting to talk about to tell you guys. And because um, I know, you know, so many people go through that. It's it's never told. And I think for me, I don't want to forget that you know the blessing that Charlie was and what we went through and. Um, my dad will probably show me in this video. <laughs> we had a scare a few weeks ago that I thought I was pregnant, probably like last month. And we were kind of like, oh my gosh, are we, are we, are we going to go through this again? And I wasn't think so. We were like, whew. Um, just because the pregnancy is so hard, but we're, whatever God throws at us, we're ready. So, um, but yeah, so we hope that you enjoyed that. You have anything else? I'd just say that looking back is how, how much of a miracle every childbirth is. Oh my gosh. Before we had kids, I just thought you got pregnant and you had a kid and you went to the hospital. They <laughs> pop them just, out. Yeah. Well, just how hard it is for some people to get pregnant or, yeah. or to carry them or it's just, it's a, it's a journey. It really is. And I feel like now with social media, you hear a lot of these stories more than they used to in the past. Like, I think it's very normal. Um, just, you know, mothers dying in childbirth and it's so sad, but it's, 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 it happens and it's real life and it's scary. Um, so I think I take all of that just being very grateful that it worked out and we have Charlie um, and I'm still here. Um, it's crazy in a good way. I mean, it's yeah. a crazy, crazy full of blessings and everything, but she was a great baby and I was so, I remember if you followed me before being pregnant, like I was so, not really nervous of having a C-section, um, but you know, I've had so many bladder and spinal surgeries and they were just like, oh my gosh, like you don't, we don't want to mess up anything up. So, but luckily both my pregnancies, my bladder went back to normal. Um, praise the Lord, because that was just one thing that I just had to give it to the Lord and be like, Lord, I know you're going to take care of this and whatever your will be done. Um, so yeah, but we've had some adventures, but um, let it's led to this and I'm just very grateful. So hope, hope you all enjoyed, so. So today we did our Charlie story and I was driving home and I was just like, we can't finish the video without actually having Charlie in it. And she was home today while we were at work. Um, so yeah. What do you think, Char? I'm going to do that in the Okay. So. So this is us. She is perfect. Ryan Rose. I feel like we are complete. Yeah. Are you mommy's baby? No, you daddy's baby. No. <laughs> Can I have a sugar? This is daddy's ah. baby. Can I, can I kiss? Okay, kiss, kiss. Mwah. Mwah.